Well, hello, physics folks, and welcome to Doc Onko's Physics. My name is Keith Onko, and today what we're going to be looking at is what happens to an electric charge when it's placed in an electric field. So what I've done is I've drawn a, a situation on the right-hand side of the screen where we have a proton, which is denoted by, oops, I have to switch to pencil mode there, which is denoted by this circle with a P in it. And it's in an electric field. It's been placed very close to the positive charge, a positive plate in the electric field. And what's going to happen is, is that this proton is going to be drawn towards the negative plate in the field and away from the positive plate. So first thing we would like to know is, what will be the force on the proton? Okay, what's the force going to be due to the electric field? Well, we have an equation, and the equation that we can use is the force, the electric force, on a charge is equal to the value of the charge itself times the value of the uniform electric field. Okay, so it's pretty simple. So all we really need to do here is uh, set Fe equal to the charge on a proton, which is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs times the value of the electric field. Well, we haven't really said what the value of the electric field is, so we're going to say that it is 50,000 newtons per coulomb. So that's going to be E here. Okay, So 50,000 newtons per coulomb. And that's a 5, not a 3. Okay, And so um, the charge on a proton never changes. That's always going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. All right. The value of our uniform electric field is 50,000 newtons per coulomb. And so the force on this proton in the electric field is going to be uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th times 50,000. And when we do the math, that comes out to 8 times 10 to the minus 15th newtons. Okay. So that's the force on our little proton. Now that may seem like a really small force, but the proton is a really small particle. And so it's actually a, a decent force on this proton. Second, like what we would like to know is, we'd like to know if we can figure out the acceleration of our proton. Well, yeah, we can certainly do that. We know the force on it. We know the mass of a proton. That never changes. The mass of a proton is equal to mp here, is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. And using our old equation F equals ma, we can figure out the acceleration of our proton. All right, so F equals ma, or a equals F divided by m. Well, F is just 8 times 10 to the negative 15th newtons. All right. And m, in this case, is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. I apologize for my horrid looking 10 over there. And when we do the math on this, we get an acceleration equal to, uh, let's see, 4.79 times 10 to the 12th meters per second squared. Right. So this is a very large acceleration. Obviously, this, um, this proton cannot accelerate with that acceleration very long because it's going to be going faster than the speed of light. Okay. So next thing we might like to know is since we have the acceleration, after a time period of 2 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds, so a relatively short time period, how fast will our proton be going? Well, now we've got to go back in our, in our minds and use those old kinematics equations. And the kinematics equation that we're looking for is V final equals V initial plus AT. All right? And in this case, V initial is 0. We'll assume that it started out at rest. All right? The acceleration we have, the time we have. All right? And so our V final is simply going to be 0 plus the acceleration, 4.79 times 10 to the 12th meters per second squared, times t, which is 2 times 10 
to the minus 6 seconds. And when we do this math, what we get is 9.58, whoops, 9.58 times 10 to the 6th meters per second. Okay, so that's how fast our proton will be going, all right, after just 2 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Okay, and lastly, we'd like to know at that point in time, when our proton is moving at 9.58 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, what will be the kinetic energy of our proton? Well, kinetic energy, again, reaching back a little bit, is equal to 1 half mv squared. Well, we have m and we have v, so we can just plug these into our equation. So we get 0.5 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. I'm going to leave the units out for now. Uh, times the velocity squared, 9.58 times 10 to the 6th squared. Okay, And we're going to get some number of joules. And the answer that we get is 7.66 times 10 to the uh, minus 14th joules. And that would be the amount of energy that our proton would have after 2 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds and when it is moving at precisely that velocity. So I hope that helps and we'll see you next time.